hello my beautiful people can you see me can you see me can you see me can you see me good hey, welcome back to another video so if you follow me on instagram then you saw my poll i'm gonna put my instagram handles here just in case you don't follow me but if you've already followed me then you would have known that i polled last week on what video i should do next for you guys the majority of you selected like a life update work update shop update so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna kind of touch base um let you know what's been going on because quite a bit has been going on um on the work front recently and just life in general i'm in the middle of my work day it's like 10 minutes to one i have a one o'clock call but i'm skirting the line because i need coffee i need it i need to pick me up like i haven't been feeling well haven't been sleeping well because i have a little bit of like a sinus thing going on well actually i haven't slept like a full night's rest in probably six years since my son was born yeah being sick doesn't help and before you say anything it's not the vid it's not the virus corona the virus my assistant's um in the office working so i'm gonna grab us some afternoon pick-me-ups and we're gonna head back to the office jump on a call which i'm probably gonna be late for because it's in 10 minutes and I i'm not even at starbucks yet so i might just have to start it while i'm in the car we'll see how it goes um, I don't see a line, so this should actually be pretty quick. Sweet. Hi, thank you so much for choosing Starbucks. How can I help you today? Hi, good afternoon. Can I have a grande hot skinny vanilla latte with almond milk, please? And can I also have a grande caramel frappuccino, please? Okay, anything else? No, that's it, love. <laughs> invoices out for leave for now and then the ones that we haven't heard back anything like we're they're just not respond let's just cancel them and um let's do this every month yeah so like whatever you want a system you want to put in place so every month we know what's upcoming send out an email if they don't respond boom we cancel it in time for their yeah so we don't have an outstanding mm -hmm. Um, that takes care of that. We are pretty much done for the afternoon as far as legal work goes. Kayla was just wrapping up a couple of things in the office, but I am going to chat to you guys now. But while I'm doing that, I wanted to try to organize my new little tea organizer. So I got this off of Amazon. It's like an eight section. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, an eight section. Um, acrylic tea holder. I guess you could use it for other things. Oh, I love it when stickers come off easily like this. Cause I hate when it leaves that little like residue thing on the top. It looks so ugly. I have all these like teas, like chai and like black tea and stuff that have just kind of been sitting in the cabinet very in a very unorganized fashion. So I want to just make them nice and cute. So actually I'm going to take out all the teas that I actually want to keep. I don't even know are these so good does tea go bad does tea go bad i mean i suspect that like if you've had it going on like 10 years obviously it's it's probably bad this very very high this no this is probably bad because i can't even remember when i bought that i don't know oh there were some more espresso pods 
So we got we got a bunch of these. On the topic of what's been going on. So yeah, so I have been expanding my team. Thank God, like, you know, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Like God has truly blessed me with the ability to um, scale my business because for a long time it was a challenge for me. Like I didn't, I didn't trust anybody. I didn't want to um, like prematurely do anything because I did. I made those mistakes with the shop, right? And you guys have to understand. That's Roxy in the background. You guys have to understand that my law firm is literally like an extension of me like it's my baby it's my um like everything a lot of you don't realize this but i have my law firm has been open since 2013 and i've been practicing for it's going to be almost over 10 years so um my law firm has been like my little labor of love for as long as i can remember so i was always very cautious about bringing anybody on that could potentially you know um be bad for business so i was always very careful about that i didn't want to do that prematurely but now i'm at a point where like i'm so busy and you guys keep me so busy that i needed to hire people so i don't know if you guys remember um kayla from the smoke shop i hired her initially to like work in the shop but by virtue of her just like being around all the time she was starting to kind of like pick up on all the little things that i do and um she was actually going to leave and move but that didn't happen so an opportunity arose and i was like hey you know well if you stay um why don't you just come work for me so she's been working as my assistant and she's been such an amazing help like we get so many things accomplished within the day things that i could not do if i didn't have the help and i'm like why the hell didn't i do this sooner it was so, it was like it made so much sense but it needed to be somebody i trusted right because one she's dealing with y'all's confidential information my confidential business information i don't care like how many agreements you can put in place with your employees for me like i need to be able to trust you and understand that you're going to be loyal because for me if you know anything about me loyalty is everything if you are loyal to me i will take you everywhere i go like if i'm successful that means you're coming along with me i'm old school like that loyalty is everything family is everything um integrity is everything so for me like there was no question about it she worked her ass off for me and she showed me that she was loyal showed me that i could rely on her and trust her keyword so she got the job baby we've expanded in that respect as far as administrative staff and then i also hired on, hired on laura who is my marketing and brand manager and she's been doing an awesome job with getting all of our branding consistent because y'all know my website and stuff like you would go to one place for like my templates and then go to the law firm website and all the colors were all over the place and nothing was consistent and i'll tell you a little secret it was like that because I built all of that shit myself. I literally went onto WordPress and I built all the sites myself with um, like WordPress themes that I downloaded from Envato Marketplace. And yeah, that was probably a bad idea. Don't mind my nail, I broke it. Um, it was probably a bad idea, but at the time I just needed to get something up so I can I could point you guys there or customers and clients there. So there was a site. So there was a place for you to download the templates and so on and so forth to input your email, um, things like that. So now Laura's whole job is to make all of those things consistent across the board. She's also been helping me with like social media management on the professional pages um, and just getting all of that stuff in order, like forcing me to make content. Like yesterday we batched like 15 pieces of content within like two hours i couldn't have done that myself so she knew what she needed to do she pre-planned everything we had an agenda we had like a plan and she got it done she was like we're gonna do this and she got it done and we're gonna continue to keep that momentum going you know as the weeks go by so i'm really excited about that and then as far as the shop is concerned my camera's about to die un momento yeah so like i was saying um personally like personal life wise like everything is good you know ethan is 
thriving in school. Um, you know, there, there, there are other situations in my personal life, like I, I, that I didn't really talk about. And you guys, let me know if you want the story because I feel like a lot of people deal with, with trauma, and we don't really talk about it. But on a personal side, like, I, I found my biological father um, after believing that someone else was my father for over 30 years. So I, I, I want to talk about it, but like, I don't know if I'm at a position, like, a place mentally, emotionally, to like really go in depth in that into that topic yet i'm still kind of processing that shock and that trauma but on the personal front that's kind of what i've been dealing with you guys know my grandmother passed away last year as well so i'm still kind of like grieving all of these things but there's so many other good things happening right now for me professionally that kind of you know make me grateful um and and make me feel blessed um I don't have a hard life at all so um you know i can't expect things to be perfect all the time so but that doesn't diminish you know sometimes the emotions that you feel um about things that occur in life but it is life right but maybe we'll talk about that on another video then for the shop uh why do i have so much decaf black tea that's so weird is it all the same? Do I have an addiction? Do I have an addiction? Like I literally have all of these. I do like this tea though. I do like the decaffeinated lips in black tea. If you're West Indian, leave your flag down below in the comments because you guys know Lipton black tea with um, evaporated milk, some sugar, and some bread and butter. There's nothing that hits harder. There's nothing that hits like it's just it's flame so the shop is actually chugging along no complaints there um i have been very um hands off of the operations in the shop so we made a transition we hired another um young lady her name is nia and we hired another guy whose name is sinclair and they have literally just been running the shop, like running all the operations, making sure everything has been going smoothly. So I've had the ability to kind of just like step back um, between you and I, and I'm not one to gossip. I totally am. We are considering maybe actually getting out of the smoke business just because things are going so well on the service side of the business, like the law firm and the consultancy that you know i'm finding that i kind of want to focus more of my energy there but we'll see how that goes i'll keep you guys posted on what um happens in that regard but yeah so everything is everything guys no complaints i mean i'm just chilling i'm here just doing my thing like usual trying to stay out the way oh these are really cute the trader joe's watermelon mint tea i'm just gonna pop these in here whatever i don't think i'm gonna put all of them Look how cute this is. I mean, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it's organized. And for me, can't ask for much else. All right, y'all. So that is the video update for this week for today. Um, if you guys want to request any particular video, the place to do it is on Instagram. Go ahead and hit me up there. I do polls and stuff all the time. But if you're looking for other video content, check out some of my other videos on the channel. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me. My email and contact information is below along with a bunch of other resources. And until the next video, guys, be kind and be great. Love you.